I'm Julian Ziegers. And I'm Joseph Gage. And in this video, we are going to be demoing our fourth year electrical engineering project from Wits University. The project has to do with scientific workflows. This is a picture of a simple one. A scientist will start off with some sort of original data and end up with some process data after the workflow, which is useful for scientific discovery. Along the way, he performs various tasks and ends up with intermediate data. The scientist, however, may make mistakes along the way and be unable to keep track of what he's done. Our project is to design software which tracks scientific workflows by recording the commands entered by a scientist and then visualizing it in a pipeline so that the scientist can see what he's done and work with it again in the future. This is our application GUI that we've created. The scientist can begin a session by pressing the start button, then enter a session title and any additional notes for the session and a working directory. Uh, we've set up a default directory called test uh, for this demo. So first of all, we can start by running um, commands. So for example, we'll run file1.py with the argument text1.txt. Then we can go and run uh, file a just for the purposes of demoing. And we'll stop the session. Now we can go view what that looked like. As you can see, he has demo the, and the file one was run with the text one dot txt as an argument and file a was run with no arguments. And this is what the, this is what happened um, after running those commands. Then the scientist can go and load a session so we can just load the one we've just made and uh, we can then run, for example, file two with the text argument. Um, text one so we'll say text one and we can rerun the same file with a different argument text two and we can stop uh, the session go and view it and as you can see now that this extra command was added um, and this also shows you how multiple arguments for the same file um, is handled We've, in addition to this, added some other features that will be useful to scientists. The first one is the data provenance feature. What we can do with this is type in the data file that we want to find the provenance of. In our case, let's do textnb.txt. Once we submit that, it brings up a new viewer that only shows the workflow for that. As you can see in the small viewer, the middle command has been cut out as it does not pertain to textnb at all. Also, we've added the Save to Script feature. You can choose to save the workflow to a Python script or a text file. And then lastly, if you go back to the home screen, you can edit a session. So let's choose the one we've just created. And as you can see, it shows the commands that were given in the session. You can edit that along with the title uh, and then run it in this window. And that is our project.